Hi, do you still make SWOT analysis slides like this? Let me show you a better alternative that looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? It's a very easy way to create SWOT analysis and you have a lot of space for you to write your text, add pictures, whatever you want to do. And once you finish talking about each of the four aspects, then you can bring down all the previous elements and give an overview. Let me show you how to create this very easy yet very attractive looking SWOT analysis template from scratch. By the way, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The first step is to create the basic prototype. I'm going to use morph animation for this tutorial. I'll also show you how to do the same effect using a simple custom animation as well. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From block arrows, let us pick this one called as arrow pentagon and then let us draw a pentagon like so. You can adjust the angle here by moving this yellow handle like so. Once you're happy with the angle, then you can rotate right 90 degrees and make sure that the length is to your liking. I would prefer to have the length somewhere over here and I would also like to see that a part of the shape is jutting out of the slide area. I quite like this. Let me go to this option here called fit slide to current window. Then let me remove the outline. Let me go to the text box tool and write the letter S which represents strengths in SWOT analysis. Use a thicker font like Amasis MT Pro Black and you can increase the font size. I'm going to keep it somewhere around 80 and let me keep it over here. Let me fill this with white colored font. And let me separate this from the text area by using a simple line which is also in white color. And then I can write my text here. So here I have the explanation for strengths. Then let me choose this pentagon and add some shadow. Let me right click on this pentagon shape, go to format shape, go to effects option, shadow, use the preset called outer and this one called as offset bottom and increase the distance to around eight points and reduce the transparency to somewhere around 20%. So you can see that the shadow is very clearly visible. And when you have such a dark shadow, it is a good idea to choose white outline so the shadow clearly stands out. Now we have got our design element ready. Let us select everything by pressing Ctrl A and press Ctrl G to group it. Then press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then place the one right next to it and let us change the text to W. And let us do the same thing again and place it over here and do that again. Now adjust the placements of these elements. So I'm going to ensure that there is adequate space on the right and to the left. So I'm going to select this and move it slightly over here. Now I can select all these elements and then use distribute horizontally. So there is equal spacing between them. Then let me zoom out a little and make sure that everything is aligned to the top. So you can see that everything is proper. Let me make the changes to this. This is O and the next one is T. So we have got our base template ready. It is time to make this look even better by adding better colors. So let me go to coolers.co and choose some nice color palettes. Here I have a very beautiful color palette. So let me use Windows Shift S so I can use the snipping tool so I can pick up this set of colors then go back to my powerpoint slide and paste it over here and i'm going to use these four colors for this so let me select this shape you can see that we have already grouped it when we click once you can see that the whole group is selected then click again so only this shape is selected then go to shape fill use this eyedropper tool and pick the first color like so then do the same thing for the second one. Pick this color and this color. So you can see that we have got all four colors beautifully selected. We don't really need this anymore. Now I'm going to choose a font color which is in contrast to the background. Now I'm going to select everything and then use my arrow key so I can position it. So just the SWOT is shown. You can see the thumbnail here. 
and that will give you the view that your audience will see when you go to slideshow. So this is the view and I really like it and I want each one to drop on a click. So let me right click, duplicate the slide and let us select this and use the down arrow key to position exactly where you want the S to end. So this is a good place for it to end and that shows the explanation for S. Let me right click and duplicate the slide. This time I want this to go up and this one to drop down. So I'm going to select W first, hold the shift button down and select S next and then use align bottom. So both of them are aligned to the exact same place. Now I'm going to move this up to the same height as this one. So let me select this first and then hold the shift button and select this next and use align top. Can you see this is a very simple way for us to ensure that the positioning of the various pentagons are exactly the way we want. Right click, duplicate slide, then select this and this align bottom and then this and this align top. Right click, duplicate slide, this one and this one align bottom and this one and this one align top. Finally, let me duplicate the slide and ensure that all of these are aligned to this level. So let us go to align bottom. Now we have got our slides in place. Now let us select the second one, hold the shift button down and click all the way till the last slide. So that selects everything apart from the first one. Go to transitions and use morph transition. Now when I go to the first slide and go to slideshow, this is how we start the slide. Then on a click we give explanation for S. Then as we give explanation for W, you can see that S goes back. So the audience focuses exactly on just the one thing that I want to talk about. And you have enough space to provide explanation. You can use the space to write more text if you want, to add a chart, to add a picture, whatever you want to do, you can use the space, then on a click you have the explanation for O, opportunities and for threats. Finally, as an overview, you can give explanation for all four of them and this is how you provide your SWOT analysis explanation. I told you that I will show you how to do this using a simple custom animation. Let me go to the first slide and let me show you how to apply custom animation. Let us go to animations and keep the animation pane open so you can see what I'm doing here. Let us select the first one. Go to motion path animation and use lines. So that comes down. I'm going to ensure that the end point, you can see that I can click on this red dot, hold the shift button down and see where I want it to be ending. So this will be the end spot. Then. I'm going to select the same shape again, add animation and use motion path animation again. So lines, motion path, and then change this to up. So it goes back. Now, where does it start and where does it end? It actually needs to start from the place where it ends. You can see the previous one. So I am matching it with that. And then let me go up and take this red point and match it with the green point from where it started earlier. It snugly snaps to the previous animation, so it is very easy to ensure that this happens. Now, when I go to slideshow, you can see on a click, this one comes down. Then on a click, it goes back exactly to where it is supposed to go. Now, I'm going to apply the same animation to the remaining ones. So let us select this first one, go to Animation Painter by double clicking on it, and then select the second one, so we have two animations added to the second one and do the same thing for the third one and the fourth one. Excellent. Let us claim the cursor back by hitting the escape. Now you can see we have eight of these animation events. Now the alternate animation events are the ones that go back. So I'm going to hold the control button and select the alternate animations and say that these are going to happen with previous. Now comes the trick. This needs to go back when this comes down. So this animation which represents the one that is going up needs to be along with this animation where this is going down. The same way this animation that you see which is of it going back needs to match with the next one and this one needs to go down 
and the last one is not even required. Let us see this. When I go to slideshow, on a click you can see that the first one goes down and as the second one comes down, the previous one goes back and as the third one comes down, the previous one goes back and the final one goes like this. Now, if you want to show a summary of everything, a much better way would be to add the summary slide right next to the previous one and use a much simpler transition like say fade transition and then when I go to slideshow, I can do this and I can show each one like this and then finally I can show the end picture like this. Now talking about showcasing various components, I would like to give you some creative examples taken from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. Here we show three components coming together and each of the components is explained like this with a very interesting animation. If you want four components, then we can use something like this. You can see on a click, we are able to take the viewer's attention to each of the four quadrants. And if you want to have say five segments, you can do it like this where the attention is brought to the different components like this. All these are templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. For more details on this product, you can click on the link in the description box below the video and make a purchase if you find the product is worth it. If you want a simpler alternative to what we have just shown you, then you can go to this tutorial that I've already created where we show you how to create SWOT analysis using a simple SMARTA diagram. This video is quite popular and has around 94,000 views. So it is a pretty decent video. So watch this next. And if you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, five day free email mini training, you can click on the link here. I've shared some useful PowerPoint tips that you can use in your next business presentations in that mini course. So click on the link, join the course, and I will see you inside.